Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be looking at an equation with a parameter. So a is a given number. We have a times e to the power x equals x. We're going to be looking at different cases here for which a values we have no solution, for which a values we have a solution. So I'm going to show you two different graphs. We can look at this problem from different angles and hopefully you'll find one of them easier than the other one. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do. First of all, I want to look at two different functions here. Suppose f of x equals a e to the x and g of x equals x. So what are we looking at here? Well, we have an exponential function, something that looks like this. And then we do have the linear function, the main diagonal. So we want them to have a common solution. Therefore, these graphs have to touch each other or cross each other. But in, as in the picture, they don't intersect. So there are some values of A for which these two graphs do not intersect and therefore have no common solution. So we're going to look through those. But let's look at these uh, obvious scenario first. So when are they going to be tangent? So there's a certain value, and you can check this on Desmos if you want, for which these two graphs are going to be tangent. And here's how we can achieve that. Suppose they're tangent at x equals t. So since they're, they're going to have the same y value, we can safely say that f of t is going to be g of t. And since they're also going to have a common tangent, which is actually the line, they're going to have the same slope of tangent at that point. So that means f prime at t is going to be the same as g prime at t. Remember, the first derivative at a point gives you the slope of the tangent drawn at that point. So let's go, go ahead and take a look at each one. And we're going to find the case of tangency. And now we're going to go to the other cases from there. f of t is going to be a e to the t. And g of t is just going to be t because g of x is defined as x. And from here, f prime. By the way, f prime is going to be, we forgot to write it, f prime is going to be the same as a e to the x. And g prime is just going to be 1. Because this is a straight line, its slope is going to be the first derivative everywhere. So from here, we get a e to the t equals 1. So now we have two equations that need to be true at the same time. And since we have the same thing on the left-hand side, if two things are equal to the same thing, then they're equal. So from here, we can safely say that t equals 1. And if you plug that into the first equation, we get a e equals 1. From here, we get a equals 1 over e. So a equals 1 over e gives us the case where these graphs are tangent. So for a equals 1 over e, which is 0 point, you know, 2 point something, 0 0.2 something, our graphs are going to be tangent. Let's go ahead and take a look at that scenario because I gave you the graph of this here. So notice that these two graphs are tangent for a equals 1 over e, and that is about, I was wrong actually, it's 0 0.36. And they're going to be tangent at 1 comma 1 because remember the t value we found was 1, right? Great, so that is the point of tangency. Now what happens if the a value increases? Then our exponential is going to grow faster and these two graphs will not touch, right? Okay, so for those kinds of values, our graphs are not going to basically be uh, intersecting. And not intersecting means there's going to be no solutions. Make sense? So we can safely say that, hey, there are no solutions if a is greater than 1 over e. Because this is going to grow much faster. All right? Cool, cool. And by the way, this diagonal is going to be fixed, but our exponential is variable. Make sense? Okay, cool. Now, having no solutions, we talked about having tangent lines or having... Um, a common point of tangency or being tangent we talked about one thing we didn't talk about is can they have one solution without being tangent or can they have two solutions 
And that's possible because if you think about it, if your graph goes like this, then obviously you're going to have two points of intersection. So let's go ahead and explore that a little bit. And to be able to explore that, we're going to look at a different scenario. So let me go ahead and show you the other graph that I made. The other graph is the graph of y equals x over e to the power x. Now, how did I get to this? Remember, our original equation was a e to the x equals x. If you divide both sides by e to the x, obviously e to the x can never be 0. You're going to get the following equation, which is equivalent to the original one, right? And this equation is much easier to handle because we have a constant on the right-hand side, which is nice because that allows us to graph a horizontal line and a curve. So that's what we're going to look at next. We're going to be looking at the behavior of this function from a derivative perspective and also from a limit perspective. And then we'll talk about the different cases. And it's going to make it much more easier. All right, let's go ahead and proceed. Uh, you just need some room here. So let's see if we can do it here. All right, cool. So now this time, let's go ahead and call our function h of x equals x over e to the power x. All right? And we know that the other function is just going to be k of x, and that's just um, a, right? It's kind of like y equals a, the horizontal line. So let's go ahead and differentiate this function. The derivative of h is the derivative of x multiplied by e to the x minus the derivative of e to the x multiplied by x divided by e to the power x squared, which is e to the power 2x. Now let's write it as e to the x times 1 minus x divided by e to the 2x. If you want, you can simplify this as 1 minus x over e to the x, which is not super important, but what's important, set this equal to 0. And we get x equals 1. So at x equals 1, we have a minimum or a maximum in this case. And by the way, you can tell if x is greater than 1, you're going to have a negative derivative. If x is greater than 1, this is going to be negative. So h prime is going to be less than 0. So if you make a quick table, this is h prime, this is h at 1, it's 0. And for greater values, it's going to be negative and otherwise positive. You're going to have an increase and then decrease, which means we're going to have a maximum at x equals 1. And x equals 1 basically indicates 1 comma 1 over e. So remember our graph looked like this, right? It kind of comes and goes like this. Now what is going on here at 1 comma 1 over e? We have the tangency, right? Remember we talked about that before. But if our y value or a value is less than 1 over e, then we're going to start intersecting at two points. Until when? Until you hit the x-axis. At x-axis, you're going to have a single point of intersection. And, before the, and for lower values, it's also going to be a single point. Make sense? Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the limit perspective here. Limit as x approaches infinity of x over e to the x. e to the x is exponential. It's going to grow faster than a polynomial. And this limit is going to be 0, which also kind of explains why our graph goes like this. We have a horizontal asymptote which means it's not going to intersect. It's going to approach 0 as x approaches infinity. So our horizontal line is not going to intersect at two points at y equals 0, which is the x-axis. Make sense? So let's go ahead and put it all together. Our function or equation, a e to the x equals x, has no solutions if a is greater than 1 over e which is above, right, is going to have two solutions if a is between 0 and 1 over e. Remember, that's where the, we intersect at two points, but not 0. And one solution if a is less than or equal to 0 or a is equal to 1 over e. That's the case that we didn't include. And remember, that is the point of tangency. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.